What is up you guys? I hope you're all doing well. So in this video today, I really, really, really want to test out this product that I just received in the mail and it is from Milk Makeup and it's the brand new Kush Triple Brow Pen. Now I ordered this thinking, this looks like it could be groundbreaking and really great for on the go and easy and you'll get those little tiny micro bladed type of brows or <laughs> it could be a total gimmick and a dud and it just won't work out. So I wanna get to the bottom of it today and try it out for you guys right on my brows. I do not have the most fluffy brows by any means. They are, you know, not sparse, but pretty fine. I mean, you can, you can see for yourself, they are not, they, they, need, they need some help, okay? And I would like some help with that. So hopefully this Kush brow pen will come in handy and work really well for me today. We are gonna find that out, but before we do, I would love it so much if you would consider subscribing subscribing by tapping that little red button down below and then go ahead and tap that bell next to it if you do want to get notified when I post new videos which is at least three times a week all beauty related and all cruelty free as well but anyways enough chit chat enough jibber jabbing I'm gonna go run and do the rest of my makeup up until the last point which would be my brows for this situation I don't usually wait till the end to do my brows but we are going to today for testing purposes so I'm gonna do that really quickly and then we are gonna jump into it and if that all sounds good and dandy to you then you know what to do sit back hang tight and keep on watching and boop. Now, there is not too much to go over as far as details and specifications go, but just a couple quick little things. The Kush Brow Pen retails for $22 and is available at Sephora and Milk Makeup's website. It's available in eight different shades, and it looks like the shades are coordinated with their brow gel that they already have as a part of the Kush line. Now, I had a little bit of a more difficult time finding my exact shade match because it had just launched, and the only place that had swatches was Sephora, and the swatches are not very good on Sephora's website, at least when I ordered this. So I tried going Going through their Instagram and trying to see like different people using ones that maybe have my brow hair color and this is the best one I could find for me and that is the shade Dutch and the shade Dutch is described as a medium dark brown shade so hopefully that'll work for me wish me luck who knows it was kind of iffy swatches I was going off of so I don't really know what's gonna happen hopefully it's good and then I'm also reading on Sephora's website that it's supposed to be infused with a hemp derived cannabis seed oil sunflower oil and aloe and that allegedly will hydrate and condition skin skin and hair. So I'm sure it's better to have that than to not have that, but I'm really focused on today how the product actually performs. I will uh, show you what it looks like, but I'm looking at it for the first time right now. Oh, it is so tiny. You see those little tiny lines in there? Ooh, look at that. Look at that precision, but it is a marker. Let me do a swatch for you. So that's a swatch from earlier. <laughs> It's hard to do from this direction. That color, I'm surprised it's called dark brown, but we'll see, we'll see. Now I do wanna say this is a pen. This is not a pencil. I saw a couple of confused comments on the announcement that Milk did on their Instagram page. A lot of people thought it was a pencil and that it would dull the more you used it, but it is not a pencil, it is a pen. So I am optimistic and I am ready to zoom you guys in and try it on my brows. Okay, let us do this. Now I'm a bit of a brow pomade type of girl myself, but Back in the day, I loved me brow pens. And if I can find a good brow pen, well, then I will love it because Anastasia Beverly Hills used to have a brow pen and they long ago discontinued this. I kind of wish that the point on this was a little bit thinner on the edge so you could go in, but you know what? I'm probably jumping ahead of myself. We'll see. Maybe this is like perfect and I don't need anything else. And I also wish there was a spoolie on the end but there is not. Oh, that is that is tricky. I am, I'm a bit of a spoolie gal as well. So I'm just gonna go in now. I guess I'll start where I usually do. I usually start right on top. This is weird. I don't know where do you, let me, let me see their tutorial real quick and let me see how they recommend using it, okay? If I can't use this like I would a pomade, what am I thinking? The only one I could find was in their highlights and that girl has pretty luscious brows as it is, which I don't really have. So she just went in just straight away like little brow hairs. So that's, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna take it in the way that is like this, where it has a longer tip is at the top and the shorter one at the bottom opposites. And I'm just gonna draw it in the way my eyebrow hairs would go. And I'm not even gonna press too hard. If you press too hard, you're not gonna get the lines in there. It's going to be like a big old block like I did right there to show you guys. That color is actually really good. Okay, I stand corrected. I just don't know how to do 
you know, the tail down here, it's pretty sparse down here. Like I have like five hairs that go together and that's it. And I don't know, like it's really thick on the edge. So I guess I'm going to try doing it though. It's not pressing hard. So that's the tail. I will still need to use a little bit of brow gel just because, you know, my five hairs on my tail kind of get a little crazy and they need to be glued down a bit. So this isn't going to help with that. But I'm going to take now, I think at an angle like this and draw little eyebrow hairs. Because the point of this is to be giving yourself that micro bladed brow, micro blade, is that what it's called? Yeah, micro blade did brow look without having to go and get that done, obviously, and without it being permanent. I guess you don't want to overly do it. Like you don't want to go over the area that you just did or else it will fill it in. So, okay. Yeah, so I just completely filled that in. Oh, well, let me, um, let me do it in the front now. I guess like, I'm like completely, <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do, baby. Now the longest tip is towards my nose. And let me try to get a steady line. I guess I should start in the front and then work my way back. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, can you see it? I hope you can see it. I see the little lines. Now let me take it like in an angle. It is hard to determine just how much pressure to use. Ooh, ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Now if I just drag it over here. So now if I wonder if I just went, ooh, see that's too thick. Ooh. No, 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 yes, no, yes, no, smidge a bit too much. Mm, okay, well, all right. So I, mm, so it looks pretty good. <laughs> this is a first impressions brow right here, but um, yeah, I need to perfect it a little bit. Let me do my other brow really quickly and see now that I kind of know how much pressure to use. Let me see if, uh, if I can do a better brow on the other side. I think it's gonna take some trial and error to get it just right, but I'm loving how it looks right on the base right here because it actually looks very natural. And I think it that, that part looks good. So if I could get it to look like that everywhere, then I think we'll be in business. So let me focus on this and do that, okay? Let's do it. All right, there's the other brow. Mm. <laughs> I don't know guys, I don't know. Hmm. Just went on Sephora's site and their recommended how to, well, which I'm sure is Milk's how to recommendations, was to start in the front um, to get the hair like strokes, which I started over here on the tails and then I jumped back over. So there was a big enough space to go through with that. And on this side, it's actually less defined than this side. I'm not sure if it's dulling the more that I use it. It doesn't seem like it is. However, maybe it is. It's not like, I don't know, no. <sighs> It's crazy. I don't know, guys. That's, that's all I'm gonna keep saying. Also, another tip that they had was for stronger hair strokes to press harder and for lighter ones would be lighter, but the more I press, the thicker the line is and not darker the line. So, mm, okay, I just threw on some brow gel and that definitely helped in the overall look of my brows look a little bit more natural. Now it's not as obvious that I have this brow pen on, but it's still not perfect. I think I'm gonna be testing this out some more and see if I can get it to work for me a little bit better because I see the potential in it. I can see how for some people this might be perfect for just a little bit of filling, but I just don't like that I can't get as precise as I want to. Basically the only area that I can get the three lines to actually show up is right here on the like base of the front of my brow, which I like that, but is that worth 
you know, the $22 and the hassle and everything. I don't know. It might be a gimmick, not too sure yet. Definitely not groundbreaking in my opinion yet at all, but I will keep trying it out and I'll let you guys know if I can get it to work for me either over on my Instagram, I will update you guys. So make sure you are following me there. And then also over here on YouTube, I'll either do like an updated video or maybe within my favorites and fails or something like that where I can update you guys and over on my community tab here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to me if you aren't yet. That way you get notified when I post that video and all my other videos. I do post videos three times a week, all beauty related and all cruelty free as well. I hope that this was helpful for you guys in deciding whether you would like to pick this up or not. But that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and hope that every single one of you out there, every single one of you have a great, freaking awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. Flicks, but now there's not that many so I'm super excited. So I am super excited to this. Mm, what am I saying? I'm already gonna say that later. Before we jump into it. And the Dutch, and the Dutch say, mm.